In this video, we're gonna talk about the new Fortric WLIR software. It has been updated since the last version. Everything is now included in the same installation package. So let's go ahead and get started here. So I've gone ahead and downloaded the software from the T Equipment Quick Start page. I'm gonna go ahead and click Install here. The prompts are similar to the previous version. I'm gonna go ahead and just click Next and accept the defaults here and then start the installation. Like the previous version, this also has a couple dependencies and libraries, and you're gonna want Windows to allow the installation to continue. You're gonna get two prompts like that, and you're gonna get something like this. If you already have a C++ 2010 version installed, that's okay, you can go ahead and close it. If you did not have this software installed, just go ahead and click continue. Um, I also happen to already have C++ 2013 on this computer. So again, I don't actually have to click repair or uninstall. I can just click close. If you didn't have this, again, you'd have the option to install. Go ahead and just continue that. And I'm gonna cancel that, yes. Um, C++ 2015, it looks like I don't have this installed. Now, I do know that I do have this on my computer, a er, er, newer version of this. So again, it's gonna say it failed. That's okay, I already have it on my computer. Um, if you don't, one more time, you'll have the option to install. Now we get prompted with the Fortra driver installation. In this case, I already had it installed from the last uh, session I did here. I'm just gonna go ahead and click repair so you can see the entire process here. Um, basically, it'll give you a prompt to accept the Windows installation. It'll go through the same steps here. Now the software's installed again, so I'm going to go ahead and click close. And that's pretty much it on the new installation. So let's go ahead and actually test this out. So I'm going to go ahead and just open here the WLIR software and say allow when the user account control gets prompted here. Now the great thing about this new version is if you want to disable your network cards and have this as a completely standalone system that is now fixed here. Um, there's a lot of, of updates for PII compliance as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, uncheck snapshots. I don't wanna save any snapshots. Um, privacy mode, I do wanna have it in privacy mode and I do wanna show my temperature data. For those of you that do not want to show temperature data. You just want to basically get the alerts yourself and then trigger some action with your user there. Uh, for now, I'm just going to go ahead and click that. Uh, storage location remains the same. I'm just going to change my units to Fahrenheit here. And I'm going to go ahead and close this and enable my RR on view here. And let's wait for the camera to turn on. And now, as you can see, it's measuring the back of my head currently. If I turn to the side here, um, we are in the stage where the camera had to warm up. That's already been completed. Now we're in the sample count. So just like the other videos for samples, go ahead and take 10 samples. Um, there's a couple more changes here that you can do as far as alerts. Again, go ahead and take a look of our some of our other videos and we'll be covering a little bit more on uh, the topic of black bodies, which is a new feature here.